Hi Libra, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekly guidance message for the week of January 1st through the 7th. This is a general message, will not resonate with every Libra. This is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Libra propensities that you may have in your chart, you may find messages that resonate with you. If not, feel free to check other signs and other propensities that you have in your chart. Any information that you may be looking for will be in the description box. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe. Would greatly appreciate it. And let's just jump right into your reading, Libra. What do we have for Libra, January 1st through the 7th? I will also be pulling a Wisdom of the Oracle, Animal Oracle at the end as well, as a Work Your Light Oracle, just for some additional guidance. We have four cards out already. Just going to pull out your next, your last two cards. Okay. And you got an extra card. So we're going to jump right in, Libra. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Can be dealing with another um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But the Page of Swords is an energy of spying. So whether you're doing some spying, Libra, or someone is spying on you, um, or watching you closely, researching, trying to find out some information about you, probably maybe you're trying to find out some information about um, something or someone in particular. But definitely um, subconscious energy there. First card, our overall energy, we have that of the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is an energy of walking away. This um, signifies that either you or someone in your environment um, has had to walk away. You've had to walk away from a particular um, person, place, or thing in your environment that um, you've spent a lot of time investing in already. As you can see, he's leaving Eight Cups behind him. And Eight Cups is a lot, and you can see they're nicely stacked. So, you know, he takes pride in his things. So definitely leaving behind a lot, but... Following our intuition here, represented by the moon, following our intuition to guide us towards something better. Although we have accumulated a lot of things and put our energy into a lot of things and maybe have some foundations that may be already built, we're still not fulfilled. So in order to find that fulfillment, we follow our intuition and we move on towards hopefully finding that. Right after that, we have the four of wands. So definitely some of us and some of you are moving towards what fulfills you, something stable, maybe making commitment. This card speaks to commitments, usually in relationships, romantic relationships, and we it is the Eight of Cups, which speaks to emotions. Cups speaks to our emotions. So some of you are definitely walking away towards, you know, maybe walking away from a pre-existing relationship that you may be in that is established but is not fulfilling. It could be a job as well. But definitely some romantic cues here. Definitely relationship um, vibrations here. The Four of Wands speaks to, you know, moving in together in a relationship, taking a relationship to another level, engagements, marriages. As you can see here, they're, you know, kind of like at the reception. But the Four of Wands speaks to stability. Okay, so you may have been in an unstable situation in the past because the Four of Cups isn't, the Eight of Cups is in the past. So it could have been in the past that you've had to release something or walk away from a previous relationship, a previous job, um, something that you were just not fulfilled in. You have, you did invest a lot of time there, but it wasn't fulfilling and your intuition told you it's time to move forward. And present moment, it looks like um, you have found what you, what, what you desire. Making a commitment to something, most likely in a relationship for the most of you, the Four of Wands. The next card out, we have the Two of Wands. So definitely a decision has been made. Whether on your behalf or the person uh, that you're dealing with, because I do believe this is some sort of relationship, okay, that you guys might be coming into. Maybe you've recently met someone, maybe you've been dating someone for a while, or you're just leaving a relationship that you're currently in. You've finally made that decision. You, you can see the future for yourself. You have a plan, or there's someone that could see you in their future, or you have someone in mind that you could see in your future for the long run. Four plus two, we have six. So whatever this is, whatever opportunity this is that you're going towards, that you've made the decision to pursue, definitely going to be victorious. Definitely going to be something that's successful and abundant. Maybe some of you are starting your own businesses as well. But definitely success. Definitely something that you're going to maybe want to put on display. Because the six of wands is a, is a public recognition type of energy. And you have the four plus the two. So a, de a decision has been made. The Two of Wands is looking directly at this Four of Wands, right? 
So some of you are making the decision to commit to somebody, to take your relationship to the, the, the next level, whichever that may be. Engagement, moving in, maybe just committing. You've made the decision consciously. You can see your future with somebody and someone can also see their future with you. You may have left something from the past, but you are moving towards stability. Under the Eight of Cups, we have the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, sorry. So definitely leaving behind something that was less than stellar, something that caused you pain. This card speaks to pain. Thoughts of pain, um, feeling hurt, feeling pain currently. So whatever it is that you're walking away from because it is in the past position, it was something that definitely broke your heart, caused you a lot of heartbreak, caused you a lot of pain, emotional pain, emotional instability, definitely. And you're walking away from that because that is directly under the Eight of Cups. Okay, walking away from that towards the Four of Wands, you've made the conscious decision. You or the person that you're dealing with, whether they are leaving a past situation that was heartbreaking and hurtful, you both are now making the decision to move towards something that is going to be stable and solid. Making the choice to leave the pain and the hurt from past situations in the past. Okay, followed by the Three of so Three of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. This is also a card of victory. So as I was saying, the Four of Pentacles, sorry, not the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Wands plus the Two of Wands is the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory being successful, triumphant, overcoming obstacles, public recognition, you know, could be making a relationship public, announcing an announcement, announcing, you know, this commitment that you're making, making your decision public to the world, because also he has a world card in his hand, definitely, but you have here Ace of Swords, Major Arcana, this is also a yes card. So if there's any yes or no answer that you were wondering, the answer is yes with this card. And this is a, a, also a, a timing card of right now, which is sitting directly under the Four of Wands. So this could definitely be happening right now for some of you, or very, very soon. But you will be victorious. If this is a relationship that you're choosing to commit to, you're making the decision to commit to someone, and they're making that decision well, it will be victorious. Or either someone is bringing this truth to you or, you know, you're cutting through all that type of uncertainty into something stable. Okay, last card out is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles here, I think, is representing a balanced situation, putting an end to the heartbreak that you experienced in the past. Finding someone that treats you equally, that loves you equally, that gives and takes equally. Someone that's willing to court you, dine you, give you what you deserve. Put in as much as you put in, right? Because definitely coming from some situation that wasn't so equal in the past, because this is coming after the Ace of Swords as well as the Three of Swords. So definitely cutting, cutting out any type of past baggage and heartbreak and pain and moving to something stable. Maybe finding someone that's very generous with their time, their love, their money. Someone you can be generous with. Okay, now that you are making the decision to, to commit to something stable. And you've got a bonus card of the star card. Major Arcana. Could be dealing with Aquarius. But this is wish fulfillment. This is wishes coming true. Some of you can have wished for this. Wished for this particular person. Wished for a new person. Now the possibility is here. Your wish is being granted. But I think it's because you, you had the courage to walk away. Your intuition was telling you that there was more out there for you. And you let the star guide you. You allowed yourself to be healed. You allowed yourself to be led. Because it's so funny. He's got the moon and the star, right? So it should be like this. Being led by the moon and stars. Following your intuition, in other words following your intuition towards your dreams, towards your wishes, to that life that you deserve, that you know you deserve, putting, putting, putting this in the past, putting an end to this type of energy, cutting through that with this Ace of Swords, victory over the past heartbreak. Okay, going into something balanced and stable, someone that will give as much as they take. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a Wisdom of the Animal Oracle for you, Libra. 
What do we have for Libra? Whoops. A bit too many. Time to collaborate. That's the first card I've seen. I'm going to shuffle some more because I think there were some more messages. But your first card out is time to collaborate. Ant, Ant Spirit. One. Starting something new. Collaborating. Definitely partnership here. Definitely. Definitely. Some of you could be coming into a partnership, getting engaged, getting married, moving in. Time to collaborate. Ant Spirit. Let's see if we can get one more. One more for Libra, please. That one flipped. Okay, got two more. Lots of messages, Libra. And lots of love. Love coming in for sure for you, Libra. Flamingo Spirit. Embrace the in-between. Number 26 and 8. Also have an 8 here. First card art was an 8. Infinity. You know, destiny. Abundance. Embrace the in-between. It may seem like you're in an in-between period right now, but you'll soon see why you had to go through all of this. Be present. Your time is coming. Let's get a Wisdom of the Light article for you, Libra. Oh, and also Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless. You also got this card. Three. Fifteen, which is a six. Also have a six here as well with the six of pentacles. And the Taurus is very much about pentacles. So some of you could be winning the lotto. Some of you could be receiving inheritance. This card speaks to abundance. Usually in the monetary sense, but 3D abundance. Abundance you can actually use in a day-to-day -day basis. Whether in love, whether in finances, your career. Six, six, pentacles, definitely pentacle energy. Taurus, could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Okay, so definitely a shift happening for you, Libra. Definitely a shift coming out of that old cycle of heartbreak and betrayal. Leaving that behind, coming to something solid. Oops, okay. Too many, what do we have here? Boundaries, where do you need to establish boundaries? And break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. See? Absolutely. Rewriting the future. Following your intuition. Moving towards your highest and greatest self. You're trying to live your best life, Libra, and you're going to. You're rewriting this. The universe is on your side. You may have someone here to collaborate with. Okay. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? That's a question for you. The universe is asking. All right, Libra. Those are the messages I have for you. Hopefully you found them helpful. If you do, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time, 